Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Nerd Den here once again and in today's video it's going to be a short little video but I'm going to be compiling all the little bits of information that we know about series 13 of Doctor Who that may be a long time away yet but I just want to make this little video just to uh, talk about everything that we know so far and obviously I'll do an updated version of this video as time goes by and we get more bits of information as well. So without further ado, let's get into the video and talk about the next series of Doctor Who. So obviously series 12 ended earlier this year in March with the Timeless Children and that was a very diverse episode indeed. And we do have one more episode of Doctor Who that has been filmed that is coming up called Revolution of the Daleks that we've talked about loads on the channel already and that is going to be releasing uh, between Christmas and New Year, so that's pretty exciting indeed. But now, Series 13 is where things get very interesting, because production for this was meant to be starting in September. So pre-production has apparently already started, so in terms of like getting the scripts ready and everything like that, and obviously uh, with Revolution of the Daleks, just go back to that, the post-production of that's been done remotely, so I presume the pre-production of uh, series 13 has already started and is being worked on but the main production is where the challenge is going to be because obviously with the, the uh, global pandemic at the moment uh, a lot of TV shows and films can't film the way they used to and obviously there's social distancing laws in place and the BBC recently have said that Doctor Who would be pretty much impossible to film under those circumstances so it does look like series 13 won't be starting to film during September so obviously uh, the filming start date will obviously depend on the state of the climate and the uh, growth of the coronavirus so we've just got to see what happens with that and that will obviously have a big impact on when filming will start. Next, we're going to be moving to cast because it has been confirmed that Jodie Whittaker will be reprising her role as the Doctor once again. So it's pretty exciting. It's going to be Jodie's third series. So hopefully we get to see more of her Doctor evolve and uh, explore different sides to her incarnation. And perhaps, you know, this could be her last series. So there might be a regeneration story arc because... For most modern Doctors, and to be honest, I think for most of the classic Doctors as well, there was this three-year rule per se. But obviously, Jodie Whittaker's Doctor has had a few gap years and everything like that. So, it is worth saying that you know, three seasons might be uh, where Jodie be like, yeah, she says bye. And uh, <laughs> yeah, that would be very interesting to see. And obviously, that would uh, bring in the speculation of who the next Doctor's going to be. But... I think once we get closer to the start date of this series, whenever that's going to be, uh, that will obviously be announced by the BBC beforehand because they don't keep casting a secret for new Doctors, unfortunately. But yeah, uh, going back onto casting, uh, Tosin Cole and Bradley Walsh are apparently leaving in the Fest special, Revelation of the Daleks, but there are some rumours saying that they're going to have little roles in the new series and this could be similar to uh, Mickey Smith for example because he wasn't a full-time companion and then when he did start to become a full-time companion he stayed behind in the parallel universe in series 2 and then showed up in the finale so for the few amounts of episodes that he was actually in I could imagine that they give that to uh, Bradley Walsh and Tosin Cole for their characters so that, that would be pretty interesting to see because obviously there wouldn't be full-time companions anymore but they could still help out the Doctor when she's on Earth. Now for more casting information as well as you know a few theories that I've had already obviously the Master I loved Sasha Dewan's Master in Series 13 and I do fully expect to see him come back because obviously he's just built an army of Cyber Masters that are Cybermen and Time Lords merged together, so they're pretty much invincible. And then there's that whole scene where Gallifrey's getting destroyed, and he says, you lot in here now. So that hints that not just him, but his own Cybermen have survived as well. So, will he show up in the next series? I think if he doesn't, he'll show up in Series 14. I personally hope that they have a year off the Master, because obviously we had... Uh, 
throughout Peter Capaldi's era, we had Missy, and then obviously John Sims Master, then Series 11 was, you know, complete standalone, we didn't have any return of villains, and then boom, we got the Master again, so it, it would be nice to have a year off the Master personally, but I do expect him to be back in the new series. And then, of course, the amazing John Barrowman, who plays Captain Jack, did make an appearance in the last series, and it is heavily rumoured, and nearly confirmed, I would say, that he's going to be back in the Christmas special. But is that going to be it from his character if he appears in that? I think, personally, he might have a role in Series 13, regardless of if he shows up in the special or not, just because, obviously, Captain Jack is a well-loved Doctor Who character, and... Torchwood was out, out the blue, name dropped in the premiere episode of series 12, so maybe they could revive Torchwood. That that would be amazing, imagine that, they just like start uh, resurrecting it in series 13, and then boom, we got another spin-off. I would love that, and that would be really fantastic, because we are overdue another Doctor Who spin-off, I would love that. And then, uh, just to move on from that, Obviously, uh, we are going to be talking about Mandeep Gill, who plays Yasmin Khan. And I think she is the only companion that is definitely confirmed for Series 13. And it would be really interesting to see her character of Yaz evolve even more. Because she suddenly got a lot of character development in Series 12. And I'm very grateful for that. It's nice to see Chris Chimnall actually focusing on a companion for once and it would be interesting to see how her character develops further into the next series and I imagine that she's going to be in the series for the rest of it but will we get another companion because obviously with Ryan and Graham leaving the TARDIS there is a vacancy but personally I just hope that they don't try and introduce another companion just yet and that we get more time with the Doctor and Yaz and then obviously Ryan and Graham if they uh have their little appearances on Earth, if that's true well, of what the rumours are saying. And then uh, the final cast member I want to talk about is Joe Martin, who was introduced as the Fugitive Doctor that was a huge uh, reveal in Series 12, That the fact we had a past Doctor that we didn't know about. So with Joe Martin's Doctor, I would like to see her appear in more than one episode to be honest like it would be interesting to see her appear in a two-parter or something like that as there's a lot of mystery surrounding her doctor because yeah we we were introduced to so many previous doctors during the time as children but joe martin's doctors where where things got very interesting and obviously she works with the division and we need to know why she uh, wanted to break away from that and we need to learn more about the division itself so it would be very interesting to see uh, more of this doctor learn about how she escaped and of course where she fits into the doctor's timeline because that isn't hundred percent clear yet either so there we go that's the whole casting information now I just want to end off with the release date because obviously with filming uh, potentially being delayed and everything like that the release date for me is looking like it's going to be uh, 2022. Just because Doctor Who roughly takes a year to film. As uh, Series 12, if I remember correctly, started filming in January last year. And then finished filming in December, I believe. Just a couple weeks before the trailer went live. Because they did all the main filming... And then obviously they do the pickup shots and everything like that. So yeah, it will take roughly a year to film. And then obviously you got all the post-production and everything like that going on. Um, so yeah. So for example, if you know they can't film in September, but say if they did film in September, it would finish filming in September 2021. And then we might get the series to start in say October or December, between October and December. But now... Uh, obviously with January to December looking more likely, it could be very different and we may have an off year of Doctor Who. But yeah, I, I, I guess we'll just take it as it goes with the release date. But there's obviously more important things going on in, in the world at the moment. So I guess we'll just find out what happens. But yeah. 
thank you very much for watching this video. I know there's not a lot of information, but just more of like what we should expect from Series 13. And yeah, I'm, I am pretty excited about this series because obviously Series 12, yeah, it introduced a lot of things that kind of break the canon and change things around and mess with the rules. But I want to see where this goes and I am excited to see more Doctor Who, to be honest. But yeah, I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed, leave a like rating and subscribe. I'll see you all on my next video. Bye for now.